I am here basically because as a professional surfer we eat, sleep, and breathe the ocean. Back at home I basically heard that there is this plastic trash, island of trash, and just like everybody else in the media, it does not exist from what I saw. Uh, we have bits and pieces of plastic and what the main problem is is underneath the water which we cannot see. I think it's hard to go back and actually explain to people what we saw. I've been writing during this whole expedition and trying to put it down and the only way I can really describe it is this plastic soup of, you know, confetti-like soup that's out in the water, but it's still hard to imagine it. And you go home and then you forget what you've seen and people can hear it, but do they really make changes? It's a problem that myself as a consumer, like the majority of people out in the world, need to just be a little bit more aware of what they're purchasing, where the disposal of the product that they're buying is going. And then I think a, a major part of it needs to maybe have some more regulation on what we are putting products in, in the plastic that we're consuming. There's just so much more of it. There's got to be a better way now that I'm actually physically seeing all the bits and pieces of plastic and how it affects our ecosystems. Um, it's definitely just in my day-to-day -day life not using as much plastic. No plastic bottles. You know, just not buying things like that. I think the main plastic manufacturers could make some changes and us as consumers and buyers can make changes.